in today's class we'll learn about solution of linear differential equation using laplace transform it is also is nothing but uh, initial value problems in this lecture we'll see what are the laplace transform of derivatives then we'll see the working procedure of the solution of linear differential equation using laplace transform and the problem is solve by using laplace transform d square y upon dt square plus k square of y equal to 0 given that y of 0 equal to 2 and y dash of 0 is equal to 0 the solution of this problem we'll see now hello students in today's class We'll see solution of linear differential equation using Laplace transform and it is also called using the initial value problem how to solve here. So first we'll see what is Laplace transform of derivatives. So the Laplace transform of derivatives are given as Laplace of y dash of t it is given as s into Laplace of y of t minus y of 0. So this is if Laplace of y dash of t y dash means first derivative can be written as s into laplace of y of t minus y of 0 similarly laplace of y double dash of t is written as s square laplace of y of t minus s of y of 0 minus y dash of 0. As I can say that a first equation, second result or first result, second result. Next, Laplace of y 3 triple dash that is third differentiation is given by s cube l of y of t minus s cube after s cube it is s square y of 0 minus s y dash of 0 minus y double dash of 0 this is third result see you can see the power s to power 1 next is s to power 0 that is 1 s square s 1 s cube s square s and here 1 into y double. so you remember l of y of t y of 0 y dash of 0 y double dash means order you new so s uh, power is going to be decrease but uh, power of differentiation what here increases l of y of t y y dash y double dash okay so in this way we need to remember similarly uh, i will go for one more or i can say that l of so on y n nth derivative is going to be considered as s raised to n l of y of t minus s raised to one less of that that is one less of n is nothing but what here n minus one y of zero minus one more less that is s raised to n minus two y dash of zero minus s raised to n minus three y double dash of zero minus so on 
so lastly i can say that it will be y raised to n minus 1 of 0 so in this way we need to remember so result number 1 2 3 are more important to simplify the examples using laplace transform so these are the differential equations uh, using this differential equations uh, this uh, uh, different whatever differentiations are there so that differentiation we need to convert then we need to apply here so to proceed this we will see uh, first here uh, the working procedure how to simplify then we will go for the particular example now so we will see what is the working procedure using this uh, uh, solution of linear differential equation uh, how to simplify the Laplace transform we will see now so working procedure so first step the given differential equation is expressed in the form y dash of t y double dash of t y triple dash of t uh, for the derivative means uh, in, in they may you uh, dy by d, uh, dt or d square y upon d, uh, dt square or like that so that uh, uh, notation will convert in terms of y dash y double dash y triple dash and so on so once we convert it so next uh, step number two is what here take laplace transform uh, means l on both the side of the given differential equation so once we take uh, L on both the uh, side, then use the expression. So whatever ex expression we have seen, what is the uh, expansion of L of y, uh, y dash of t or L of y double dash of t or L of y triple dash of t so on, on uh, both side uh, and uh, give the expression for this. Next fourth uh, result is what here, uh, substitute the given initial condition and simplify the uh, uh, simplify to obtain L of Y T as a function of S then will the simplification then to get the result of how to eliminate this L uh, means we need to find the value of Y of T means uh, you shift this L to the right hand side it will become inverse so that is nothing but if you apply inverse uh, Laplace on both side or can uh, shift this L to the right hand side that is nothing but inverse Laplace which is we will get from that what here in uh, inverse Laplace of the given function that is nothing but y of t will get it so these are the steps uh, which one we are going to be remember to simplify the problems here so we will see the ex problem now so problem number one solve by using Laplace transform d square y upon dt square plus k square y is equal to zero given that y of 0 is equal to 2 and y dash of 0 is equal to 0 so this is a differential equation and this is a initial value condition here so using this we need to simplify so you can observe here so the given differential equation is d square y upon dt square plus k square y is equal to 0 and the conditions are what here y of 0 is equal to 2 and y dash of 0 is equal to 0 so once we take this next so this as per the step number one this uh, we are going to convert in terms of what here what d square y upon dt square can be written as y double dash of t okay because with respect to t means t will come with respect to x means x will come here so now we are dealing with uh, with respect to t it will be t plus k square y is equal to 0 and this conditions remain 0 same that is y of 0 is equal to 2 and uh, y dash of 0 is equal to 0 so y of 0 means so this is a place of t so at t is equal to 0 value of y is 2 at uh, t is equal to y dash of means uh, remember y uh, at, at t is equal to 0 y of uh, y is 2 and at uh, t is equal to 0 y dash is also what here 0 so remember the, this is a condition so what 0 we are finding inside the bracket it is nothing but value of t so now we need to simplify first so once we convert it then as per the step so take laplace on both side for this so take l on both side so l stands for out here laplace transform so if you take once l on both side what happens so l of y double dash of t plus k is a constant 
that is the k square is a constant l of y so this y you can write it as what here y of t is equal to 0 uh, or I can say that l of 0 better now we know the value of here l of y double dash of t what is that l of y double dash of t is nothing but s square l into y of t minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 so in result number 2 we need to apply l of y double dash of t is nothing but s square l of y of t minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 so we will apply now this so l of y double dash of t is nothing but s square l of y of t minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 so this is the value of or expression of l of y double dash of t this is a plus k square we don't know the uh, expression this is as it is l of y of t and laplace of 0 is what here 0 itself now now by condition y of 0 so now at y of 0 is equal to 2 and y dash of 0 is equal to 0 what we will get we will apply as well as we will open the bracket s square l of y of t minus s into y of 0 is 2 apply here 2 minus y dash of 0 is 0 0 ok plus I will open the bracket also plus k into l of y of t as it is because we don't know the value is equal to 0 next so here you can see that first term and the last term having l of y of t l of y of t uh, so, th so that so uh, I will take l of y of t common what left here inside so this is k square so inside we have left s square plus k square into l of y of t we have left so my, uh, minus times s into 2 is nothing but minus 2s is equal to 0 now so s square plus k square into l of y of t is equal to shift this minus 2s to the right hand side it will become plus 2s or cross multiply this s square plus k square to the right hand side so l of y of t is equal to 2s divided by s square plus k square or shift this l to the right hand side so it will become l inverse so y of t is equal to 2 is a constant l inverse of s divided by s square plus k square so as we know that laplace transform of s divided by s square plus a square formula we need to apply which is nothing but 2 times so it is cos of kt so this is the answer of y of t which is the required solution of given differential equation using what here uh, Laplace of derivative we have got this result so in this way we need to simplify the problems